Hey guys, this is Lisa. Um, thank you for all the questions I've been getting. Um, and I will get to each and every one of them. And tonight, the question I'm going to answer is from Dan from North Conway, New Hampshire. And hey, Dan, first of all, thank you so much for sending me a question. And uh, I love that you love Lisa Croy Superstar. Thank you very much. Um, okay, Dan's question to me was, what musicians influenced me the most when I was growing up? And hands down, you know, I'm a huge Beatles nerd, huge Beatles fan, you know. Um, besides including the Beatles, um, I'm a, like 70s classic rock is my thing. Uh, you know, so, you know, it was the Beatles. I loved the Doors. Made the cover of my Loose Leaf one year. Zeppelin, forget about it. Zeppelin, you know, um, I, st I, I played a lot of Zeppelin on guitar because I loved Jimmy Page. You know, Jimmy Page really, when I, like, when I saw him play, like, song, and song remains the same, you know, midnight showing, you know, on the boulevard, uh, in Philly, you know, I forget what the name of the theater was now, though, but they used to have these midnight showings, a bunch of people would go on one side, and they'd go to Rocky Horror, and all the rock kids would go, would go to see song remains the same, which is what I, you know, what I saw, what I saw there, you know, but yeah, uh, Paige is my favorite guitar player, and Hendrix, you know, and I mentioned this before in one of my videos, is that in my head, Hendrix is the greatest guitar player because Hendrix sang at the same time as he played. And he didn't just sing over chords. If you ever dissected a Hendrix song, it's like, you don't have to dissect it. If you just hear a Hendrix song, it's like, oh my God, you know, he sang over that. It's, he had to separate his brain and to do two different things, like singing over this complicated riff is really hard, you know? So, to me, he's the greatest of all time. But I love Jimmy Page. I love Steve Howe. He's amazing, you know. Uh, Eric and I are huge Yes fans. And uh, Steve Howe is fantastic. You know, uh, Alex Lifeson. I mean, my God, he's so great, too. Um, but, you know, besides guitar players, Musicians that I love, uh, there's, you know, songs that I love. Like, I've started to love a lot of, like, uh, just really good, like, pop songs, you know. And uh, everybody, when they were younger, loved, you know, the Monkees and the Centenary thing. Well, I started really buying their records just a couple years ago. I mean, I had the 45, I had the albums when I was a kid, but I started listening to them again. And oh my God, if you're a fan of pop music, you gotta listen to this stuff. You know, it's really great. And, and, and some of the songs like inspired some of our songs, my songs on the next, on our upcoming record, you know, um, like Take a Giant Step. That song is great, you know? And there's a lot of songs like that at Studio and, and I love. Um, I also really love Keith Moon, you know? Keith Moon is the, 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 the greatest drummer next to Eric Perfect of all time, you know? Like Keith Moon, Forget about it. Just forget about it. Like, hands down. Like, I've seen lists where people put, like, Keith Moon. They'll have John Bonham, Keith Moon, and Neil Pert. 
And to me, they're the top three. But Keith Moon, hands down, is the greatest. And McCartney is my bass player. McCartney's phenomenal. McCartney, as good as McCartney is a bass player, he's that good of a guitar player. And he motherfucking can play drums too. Like, come on, he's the best. Songwriting, hands down, Lennon and McCartney and Harrison and Star, like whatever they do, I love. I love just genius. But um, it's kind of cool. And, and then I really loved James Honeyman Scott from The Pretenders. So underrated, died so young. Those first two Pretenders albums helped mold me into the, the, the person, the musician that I am today. You know, like when I heard The Pretenders, you know, like Chrissy, I was just like, God, that's, that's, she's doing what I want to do. And I was like a kid, you know? And I wanted to be a cross between uh, Chrissy Hine and like James Honeyman Scott, you know, just like, boosh, you know what I mean? And, 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 and I lined up that way. And uh, she's a huge influence on me to this day, you know? Like an upcoming song that we have on our album is called Shy Boy. And uh, it's totally pretenders influenced. You know, it's, it goes like this, it's like, um, it's just a shy boy, a get high boy, can he be saved, shallow is his grave, shy boy with your head in the sand, don't you want to stay? huge influence on me the first two albums the first two albums um and I really think for me most of my musical influences came for me as a kid and they didn't really change it didn't change I mean of course I loved other bands like you know I loved Motorhead and um like you know like Rush and Yes and Zeppelin and um, Crosby, Stills and Nash and Young, Neil Young, forget about it, David Bowie. Like when I first tried to play Suffragette City on guitar, my hand was broken because it's like all bar chords, you know? And uh, there's just so much great stuff, you know? But I find myself, I'm not influenced buy too much new stuff, you know? I'm really not. I'm not influenced by new stuff. I love going back to some, finding older stuff, you know? Like Little Richard and Chuck Berry. My God, it's so good, you know? Um, one of my dear friends uh, loves doo-wop, and he turned me on to doo-wop. It's great, you know? Um, so... Like I take a lot of my influences from the influences that I think that I had growing up and really when I learned how to play guitar and it just kind of like stuck inside me. And sometimes it might have been sleeping when I, you know, when I got involved with work and all this other work, you know, bullshit and all this other shit that goes on in your life, you know, but it's in there, it's in my veins and then it comes out, it's in our veins and then it just, it's our oxygen, then it comes out again. You know, and I think, you know, all those things put together make us the people and the musicians we are today. So, thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Love the question. Um, my parting words, do no harm. Be kind. Please take care of, the, of our animals. They're so harmless. They love us. Please take care of them. If you find a stray, please don't just leave them there. Take them, if you, you know, as much as you can to try to get them help. 
at a no-kill shelter or, you know, any, anywhere you can, if you can hold on to him for, until you can get, get him help. Um, and don't take any shit. Take care. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.